hey y'all thank you so much for watching this angelique tv where we talk about everything and when i mean everything i mean like by the way i got a little background interruption slash disturbance in the background because my baby is in a bouncer and he ugh, lord but anyways as y'all can see this is episode number two of my series that i'm doing i still haven't thought about like what i was gonna name it but right now it's a series that i'm working on if you're new hi i am miss angelique tv where we talk about everything and i mean everything i mean everything like i'll be telling y'all all my business so um yeah welcome to the channel hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and also hit that like button because i need y'all to be hitting that like button as much as y'all can because i really really need the hell if you have not watched episode one i'm gonna need for you to pause this video go ahead and watch episode one because i episode one was like the introductory of all it is i'm not gonna go back and tell y'all what i discussed in episode one so you just gonna have to go back to episode one and watch it and then come back to this video all right so last episode we left off with Darius approaching me and my husband with this crazy idea of allowing his now girlfriend which we named her katrina he wanted her to move in with us so we were clowns we were real, real clownish and we agreed to it now prior to her moving in with us she had her own spot it was a one bedroom apartment she you know she had her own little thing going on or whatever she had a car but the car wasn't really operable i don't even think it worked but darius ended up helping her move all her stuff into the um, house now she didn't take a lot of her stuff she took i want to say her dresser was like the biggest thing that she took but darius didn't let her take most of her stuff with her like she had a whole house full of furniture but he wasn't taking that shit because girl it was roach infested so well this is what he told us so i'm going by what he told us and i'm pretty sure he wasn't lying about it y'all know how roaches be bitch you invite roaches to your house damn motherfucker leaving so we ain't had no problems and we didn't want those problems either so she just ended up bringing her dresser and he also got her car um towed to the house as well so like i said the car was not working at all so it was just sitting in our front yard in the beginning everything was all right like i said i barely knew katrina other than what darius told me about her um gabriel he knew her a little bit more because he had been seeing their friendship or whatever that it was before prior to me coming into the picture in the beginning everything was cool other than the fact that katrina did not speak i'm the type where if i didn't see you all day today and the last time i seen you was last night and I see you for, for the first time today, I'm gonna be like, hey, how you doing? What's up? Like, you know, whatever. Ain't gotta be no conversation, just hey, what's up? She did not do that. She would literally make eye contact with me and keep it fucking moving. At least smile, like, hmm. I didn't like that. I thought that was real rude. I ended up telling Darius about it. I don't know how he brought the conversation up to her, but he ended up telling her about it. And she eventually started like speaking. So after that, like, we ain't had no problems at all. Another thing with her was she did not know how to cook, girl. Child, Lord, have mercy. I told y'all, one of her parents were either Mexican or Hispanic, and her mama was full blown black. The shit that she did cook ain't have no type of seasoning in it. It only took me one meal of hers to just know that, yeah, I'm really not about to be fucking with her cooking like that, for real, for real. Where I'm from, our food needs seasoning. But I used to feel bad for my kids too because it got to the point where we used to take turns. Like I would cook on a Monday, for an example. She would cook on a Tuesday. Like we would cook every other day. Um, and the days that she cooked, like my kids didn't really want to fuck with the food. That was one of my other first impressions of her. Like the bitch don't know how to cook. Darius, he was more so of the cook. So he would get in the kitchen because he would tell her about herself and let her know like, yeah, this ain't good. So he got to the point where he would like get down there in the kitchen with her. Um, and like, you know, kind of show her how to season food. Like season, season food for real, for real. Not no for fake shit. Moving on to the following month, which was November of 2019. Like I told y'all in the beginning of the story time, she had three kids. The oldest and her youngest were for her ex-husband well she was still married to him um and the middle one was for somebody else now the oldest and the youngest they lived in louisiana with their dad and so i don't know how often she would see them at this time i also don't know how long they have been living with their dad but i knew it had been some years i can tell you that so she was just living her life her best life in houston you know just kidless like she ain't got no children just living her best life and i always thought that was kind of weird because you you know but at the same time they were boys so i kind of understood but at the same time like even though i got a son i still want to see my son quite often you know what i'm saying i might not be able to teach him how to be a man but i still want to be in his life quite often but she wasn't like that like i would never hear her on the phone with her kids and maybe i just never was around to hear it um but yeah i always thought that was weird her so 
this particular day in November 2019, Darius ended up coming to the room um, with me and my husband and broke some news to us. So apparently Katrina gets a call from Child Protective Services in Louisiana um, letting her know that her children, her two boys, were in their custody because of some child abuse allegations against their father. At this point, I didn't know exactly what, like, what happened. Um, all I knew was she had to drive to Louisiana. I'm just like, okay, they gotta be serious for her to have to go there. So, um, because the, ultimately CPS were trying to get her to get the kids, but because she wasn't in another state, they had to, like, stay overnight and I don't know what type of facilities CPS has but whenever kids get taken away from their parents and they don't have nowhere to go I don't know what type of situation it was in but they were somewhere not with their dad because the daddy was he was in jail so she probably the next day she ended up traveling to Louisiana so she gets down there and then once she gets down there that's when we finally find the details of what happened so the information that we get from Darius that he got from Katrina obviously they were at school and had a bruise or one of the boys rather uh, had a bruise at school and obviously the school got involved and started questioning the kids and then it just went from there so as far as the details of what the dad was doing he made them vegetarian um he put them on a restriction as to what they had to eat every morning they would have to do sit-ups and push-ups like they would ha literally have to exercise and all of that every single morning before they get up and go to school he would make them wear a belt around their stomachs while they were at school whenever the boys would come home if their bellies looked bigger as if they were eating unhealthy things this is what coming from what the children say as if they were eating unhealthy things that would be the indication to the dad like oh, okay i know that y'all been at school eating junk food even though y'all know y'all are supposed to be vegetarian so the vegetarian shit wasn't on like the kids or wasn't a kid's decision it was the dad i didn't look at the pictures but there were pictures of all the bruises and then the belts left marks like nasty marks on their stomachs i'm pretty sure that man did a lot more to them kids that we probably won't ever know about so when katrina went there she had a court date that was scheduled for her to pretty much take custody of the kids so katrina ended up coming back to houston but then that following weekend she ended up going back to louisiana to do the court hearing and to ultimately get custody of the boys she got custody of the boys the judge ordered that the dad could not have any contact with the kids until they turn 18. they're 5 and 12 doing having all of this crazy shit happening and done to them like I just thought that was really, really sad. She brings the kids home and we meet them for the first time. They, they both seem super, super shy. As I could only imagine, I mean, they bad enough, they barely even fuck with their mama like that, for real, for real. So all of a sudden, they ended up going from one state to another. Like, I could only imagine how traumatizing that could be for a child. They're not coming home to just their mom's house. They're coming home to a whole nother family that they've never seen before and their mom. The fourth room that I was just telling y'all about in the last story time that was going to be my boy's room, they ended up taking up taking that room unfortunately uh, well i can't say unfortunately because I, I didn't feel like bad for allowing them to take the room like i, I wanted them to have the room because you know i was really genuinely concerned and i i didn't mind that but um it, it just put a damper in my plans pretty much i didn't cook dinner that day so we just had like um, mcdonald's we got mcdonald's for the kids and i don't know how long they have been vegetarians prior to this situation but um they got burgers they got cheeseburgers or whatever from mcdonald's the oldest he fucked them burgers up the youngest though he didn't want it because he wasn't used to that they ended up making him a grilled cheese sandwich or something um that night but yeah i, I vividly remember the youngest one not wanting to eat mcdonald's at all and i was like damn so girl like a couple days later tell me why we had a whole knock at the door from a cps worker from texas want to come to our house to check on the kids and make sure they had talking about not not our kids but her kids they wanted to check on the boys because i'm pretty sure my guess is louisiana somehow communicated with texas and was like okay we need to make sure that she's taking the kids to a place where they have somewhere um safe to lay their heads at so when they of course not early in the fucking morning i'm the type if somebody knocking on my door and i'm not expecting nothing like i'm gonna immediately get anxiety because like why is my door being knocked on right now ain't nobody called me and nobody tell me anybody was coming i ended up answering the door and she introduced herself and uh asked for katrina so i'm like oh okay yeah you ain't gonna tell me twice one moment so she go downstairs talk to them and then they eventually came to the house and bitch when i tell y'all they was looking at everything they upstairs looking in the rooms and shit bitch i was like god damn like we're going through a lot for something that we ain't even goddamn do but 
at the same time, I understand, I understand. And at this time, again, I'm pregnant. <laughs> so I'm going through all of these changes and stuff. And I'm just, I was a little overwhelmed um, in the beginning because I was like, damn, I already got a bunch of kids in my, my goddamn house. At this time, um, me and my husband, we only had six kids. Um, and so now she's bringing two of hers here. And bitch, it's gonna be eight. It's, it's gonna be eight kids in this motherfucker. But we, 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 we did it. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. So Katrina ended up, you know, of course, enrolling them into school. Um, they started getting along with the kids too. And we even had everybody on the schedule because before her children, before Katrina kids came to the house, my kids were on the schedule as far as chores. My kids been doing chores since forever. If you can mess up, you can clean up. That's my model. Oh, and I, I didn't give y'all the name of the oldest son. I'm so sorry. The oldest son is Steven. Um, we named the youngest one, Lil Dante, on the last story time. So. Steven and Lil Dante, um, they w got put in a mix too. They all was getting along, girl. They was getting along real good or whatever. Everybody just was really getting along. And I, you know, started to get used to the whole new dynamic that we had. Like a blended family for real, for real. And it was, it was cool. It was really cool until it wasn't. But stay tuned. Moving forward to February of 2020, we're now in a new year. I give birth to Gavin, baby G, my third son <laughs> girl be having to count sometimes because i be cooking bitch and everything was cool the type of relationship that darius and katrina had at this time it was a little a little rocky like not too bad but like i could tell she had been getting on her nerves and i could tell he had been getting on hers you know but i didn't think anything serious of it now i do remember darius bringing this up that she you know she wanted a baby and she had baby fever now Darius didn't have no kids at this time. Darius, he was, he ain't had no kids. He was just a cool, you know, all the kids would call him uncle and stuff like that. He was just a cool uncle, right? He did want kids, but I don't, I don't know how bad he wanted it. But I did know that he eventually wanted to maybe I just don't know if he wanted one at that time. Katrina was actually on birth control at this time as well. And as Darius would tell me some of the things that they would talk about as far as her having baby fever, I would just think to myself, like, why are you having baby fever? You literally just got your kids back after not seeing them. Like, I just felt like she should have been really focusing on building that bond with her kids and making sure that they were good. Honestly, I felt like they should have been going through some type of therapy after going through something like that like they went through a major change they're basically in prison at their daddy house and then they just come to freedom in texas and you know around people that they don't even know but to each his own to each his own she didn't do that but that's just my opinion i, I feel like she should have you know gave them a little therapy or just make sure that they were all right but whatever so when me and Darius would have these conversations about her be having babies with her, i just be thinking to myself look we got too many motherfucking kids in this house like she need to just worry about her worry about the one she got and and call them up like that if y'all want to have kids whenever we move out because the the goal was for us to eventually branch off after a year or two and you know they get their own place and, you know me and my husband would finally have our own place to ourselves because as y'all can see we on year three and motherfuckers still living with us so like i said in february 2020 i had gavin and literally the month after that that's when covid happened and child the world just went motherfucking crazy we already know we don't even need to discuss what happened we already know what happened i don't think they were like putting putting us on lockdown just yet but they were starting to because this is like the end of february but girl i'm picking up some food that i ordered or whatever in the car just you know waiting on my food because i'm hungry i'm breastfeeding at this time so i'm hungry as fuck y'all know how the breastfeeding should be if you don't know now you found out um, but yeah, I'm just chilling in the car, my mom up like business. I get a text from Barry, bitch. I'm gonna read y'all the text and I'm gonna put the text up here as well. But he said, if you pee on a, well, I guess he meant pregnancy test, but it says, if you pee on a pregnancy test and get a negative result, it's gonna stay negative, right? So I said, yep. So he responds and said, well, she took one and she said it was negative. I come in here and it's positive. I said, let me see. And he sent me the motherfucker picture, bitch. I know y'all see that line on that on, on this picture. <laughs> I know y'all see that line. Bitch, I could have melted in the motherfucker seats at that time. Because I know, I know this bitch ain't pregnant. I thought she was on birth control. Who's lying? Who's not being honest here? I thought she was on birth control. Why is she pregnant? I am not even four weeks postpartum yet. I literally just had my baby not even a month ago. You was already pregnant, clearly, or in the making of getting pregnant as I was in a, in a goddamn 
a uh, labor and delivery room, bitch. Like, what? What do you mean? I'm looking at my phone and shit. I forgot to say my husband was in the car with me too. He's like, what? What's wrong? What's wrong? And I'm the type, I react before I speak. I'll be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I don't know what made me screenshot that. No, I do know what made me screenshot that because I'm pretty sure I screenshot that and sent it to my friend. It was like, bitch. But on that note, we gonna pause this story time because girl, this pregnancy really just like, open up a whole new door for a whole nother set of uh bullshit because after everything literally went to shit and it continues to go to shit every single year for the next three years that i'm getting ready to bring y'all on a journey of girl i'm getting hot just thinking about it so on that note don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button but most of all subscribe so that you can know when i post and also hit that like button so other people can know when I'm up a post and hit that notification button if you really like want to know if I post or when I post for real for real. <laughs> Comment below y'all thoughts like I know y'all probably like Angelique you know damn well you should never agree to let that girl stay with y'all because I know I know I know this now like 2024 me like know this now I mean 2023 me knew that as well but 2022 knew that also remember these story times are gonna be posted every single Friday if y'all watching this it's probably because I'm being consistent and if I'm being consistent I just want y'all to just say I'm proud of you because y'all know how hard it's been for me to stay consistent with everything going on in my life but that's no longer an excuse because a bitch just gotta do what a bitch just gotta do I love y'all so much and I'm gonna see y'all in my next video